Okay, we'll calculate the hydrostatic force and the distance for this domain. You can see um, we have got, uh, this is the free surface, we have got an inclined plate here. This is AB, so that's the inclined plate. If we, this dotted line, you can see it makes a 45 degree angle with this free surface. And now, um, if we just look uh, from this angle in this way, then we'll see this is a rectangle. So this is a rectangle. We know the dimensions is given. C, this is the centroid, and CP is the center of pressure. Now, if we draw a, a surface O, O dash, this is just the perpendicular to the free surface. And um, we see here actually the location of the centroid location uh, you, you know from here the location and the distance of the centroid from the free surface uh, we can say this is haze bar or you can say haze c so i'm just writing haze bar uh, from the cent center of pressure it is haze sister and here you can say with distance we said this is three meter haze equal three meter and this is haze equal three meter so now we need to calculate actually the force f the hydrostatic force um, we'll calculate f and so let's do that at first so this is actually the pressure force the pressure force from uh, the theory is we know f equal rho g a into haze bar what is haze bar haze bar is the distance here this is haze bar right so we um, we know from this problem if you look here this is the material water so the water density rho it is 1000 kg per meter cube gravity is 9.8 meter per second square and the area it is given it's easy 2 meter into 5 meter 2 into 5 meter square so this is 10 meter square and what we don't know is the haze bar but what we know guys um, we know the distance here we know this distance is 3 meter if I just draw it this way let's say uh, if I just draw it this way like this so this is we say haze bar let's say for from the other figure this is actually haze equal 3 so up to this point this is actually haze so now we put, put an imaginary like a triangular it is actually you can see it this is the angle here the 45 degree angle so we can say that's the angle 45 degree right and you know this distance it is actually 3 so this is actually the 3 meter so this distance is 3 meter because this and this are equivalent it makes a 45 degree angle here okay and this is 3 meter so from the trigonometric formula we can write this is actually 3 sine 45 3 sine 45 degree so then haze bar it is actually you know this 3 meter plus 3 sine 45 degree you understand what I mean so this is 3 meter and this is 3 into 0 0.707 sine 45 degree means so 5.12 meter so that's the value of haze bar so now we have got all these values and substitute it into the equations this so if we write it okay if we go rho g a haze bar rho is 1000 gravity 9.8 area is 10 and it is 5.12 so it is 5017067 newton so that's the pressure force we have got so now the second part of this problem is we need to calculate this distance haze star so the distance haze star it is actually we know the formula from previous um, video ic sine square theta a haze bar plus haze bar so we already know haze bar we know the area a and we know the theta we don't know ic right we don't know the ic the, the inertia so if you can uh, remember i already showed you 
the the table actually how you can get the the moment of inertia okay so for different domains so previously i showed you centroid and the centroidal moments of inertia for some uh, most common geometries like rectangle circle ellipse so here this is a rectangle and for the rectangle um, we can write uh, this formula if we say uh, we know the general formula is the second moment of inertia ixx c this is you know in different books they use different like bdq20 or 12 bdq12 so actually we can say this is the small base this is b this is d in some books they said you know a b q but 12 so that's the same thing so let's write it down here i c it is equal if we use that formula so we have it's like this so this is 2 and this is 5 okay so we can say b 2 meter d cube is 5 and 12 so it will be 20.83 so now um, we'll substitute the value here Hayes bar it is equal I C sine squared theta over a Hayes bar plus Hayes bar so I C is 20.83 sine square 45 degree over area is 2 into 5 and haze bar is 5.12 meter plus you know the haze bar 5.12 meter so this value uh, i can write it this side the haze is there this distance it will be 5.323 so you can see the haze is very good this is 5.323 previously we calculated haze bar for the um, uh, the first part it is 5.12 meters so this is understandable the haze is stead this one it will be higher than the haze bar and you, you can actually see it from here so this distance it will be higher than this one so we got um, it is actually 5.323 so that's the solution of the problem so when we will get some similar problem and we need to calculate the pressure force and the distance on uh, you know a submerged object so then we're going to use for the inclined surface we're going to use this formula for other special cases we have got different formulas so we'll use that one so that's it